All right, so you all know I like doing how-to hacks because they're fun. And I've had this ball of yarn for, I don't know how long now. And I've been wanting to make spawning mops. And you can make them, I guess, in any different size of, of yarn. This one's pretty small. Um, and it came to me, I'm not sure, in a dream, in the shower, sitting on the toilet, uh, about, I've got another desk in the house, and it's, uh, oh, I don't know, what is about half inch, three quarter inch plywood, something like that. And I thought, I've got these, these clamps. They're just little clamps, right? Uh, I got these from probably Home Despot. And uh, I thought, well, all I need then is, because I've been trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. And I thought, well, a piece of PVC over the end of this thing, right, it'll spin. And then at the end, if I tie it too tight, I can just slide them right off. So I've got one at each end, all right? And I just put marks on the, on the tabletop here, on this countertop on the outside of uh, the clamps so I can close that up. And the marks make this, there we go, from outside to outside, they're, they're about 12 inches, okay? Now I already made one. So the way I'm gonna do this, because I don't really have a clue, is, uh, let me just start a piece. I do a little knot in it. It'll come off later. All right. Just big enough to go over that piece of pipe. All right. And then uh, I cut off a couple other, couple other strands, about 10 inches each. And then what I'm going to do is 20 full laps. And I'll speed this part of the video up. So, but before I do, I'm tugging it, holding it kind of snug here. All right and then getting it started all right just keeping some tension on it and then go for the next one now what i'm going to do is drop this i've got a little two gallon bucket next to me so i'll drop that skein how's that for technical jargon and then all i got to do is just keep a little tension on it and that's three 20 full laps four i guess i don't need to speed up five because it's not that slow six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right. Now I'm going to cut this a little long, because I'm going to use it. We'll go out about a foot, all right? And then I'm going to pinch in here, just not, not right up to the pipe. I'm going to be out a little bit, and just sort of uh, tie a little hitch kind of a thing here, all right? And that's going to be this opening afterwards up top here and that should be big enough to slide a cork through or some other floaty device now i'm going to do that a couple times here and that'll hold it in place and then what i'm also going to do is take one of these 10 inch ones and push it through this end i'm going to do it twice and keep it kind of loose so you can get it around the back side of the pipe here. Right, and then cinch it up. And go around twice. And then make a, either a square knot or a granny knot, because I can't remember which way it's going. And cinch that up. And the yarn separated for me. There we go. Yeah, that's good. And I can trim that up, leave just a little tail on it, and then take this piece here and where I had this wrapping around, just the same thing. I'm going to run it twice, one time, two times, and then go through here twice, right? Go through this twice, 
That's why I tie my shoelaces, otherwise they always slip out. And then go through this once. And that is it. Cut the excess off. All right. This slides right up. I'm going to keep my thumb in there. Okay. And I've got uh, my scissors. And I'll just run right through here. One time. Spawning mop. And that knot at the top keeps that opening for us so we don't have to go search for all the loops. And there we go. One spawning mop. How long did that take? So anyway, like always, tanks for looking.